All right, so welcome, welcome everyone, guys. This one is Cosmo Tournament, and it is round of 32, which is single elimination match, okay? This means only one of these teams can advance to the round of 16. We have Navi versus Robin Hood. We have cast opening here for Na uh, for uh, Robin Hood Club and Club, and coming in here with the E Dragons against Gaku Base. All right. Blim already landing over the town hall. Healer puppet on the queen. Not new abilities on the royal champion. Alright, we have small issue here. We didn't take down the town hall. That Blim wasn't good. That Blim sadly not giving him value. And now Katz has to recover here. Oh, even going with the royal champion into the CC troops. Luckily, we have Fox, but I don't know if the Ice kind of lose the interest in this Ice Golems. No, she will be still chasing them, and we will be still freezing around the town hall. Oh no, don't open with the one star. No, 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 no. It's gonna be one star. That Arty. Oh, that is a huge difference. Oh my, this is not even high percentage. Yikes there, 60% 1 star. That's all because like the blim fell, like blim land, but we didn't get the town hall down. It's got very low health, like you can see. Now I, I guess it got the repair, uh, but it was, you know, I think so like, I don't know, 30% of the health left. And yeah, the RC went in, but ice golems, ice golems. Once that happened, you guys Think like you never ever eat the one star. If I gonna check your hit rate, I'm sure I gonna find one star. Okay, Picastro, first attacker for Navi. Uh, you know what? Will be like kind of good now. Navi don't have to be worried about time, so maybe we gonna see less attacks of the Rude Riders. You know, maybe we're gonna see like different strategies. Oh, yo, yo, Ripper only for the headhunters. We have two flying headhunters and not really helping at all. But now we are sending the third one. Oh my god, there's not a spring trap. Oh, Pikachu headhunters just run into the spring trap and they are flying around. He started with the Lalo. He was able to zap one of these infernos. Queen finishing the eagle. We didn't take down the Inferno here. Phoenix doing some damage, but now Queen uh, coming in or stepping in and using the Queen ability. So we are using the healer puppet. That's mean why we have these uh, three healers now supporting the Queen. Uh, wooden ability protecting the group of the loons. That bigger group of the loons should nicely landing over the town hall. I see with the haste. Is it haste? No, it was only uh, the hawk puppet with the shield. Now reaching the final defenses and it was fast. It's like attack in like what one minute 20 something. But yeah, <laughs> the headhunters find every spring trap they could. So that one was 1 minute 23 seconds. Alright, Satario coming in here with the Super Dragons. Alright, Siege Barak finally one side. Let's see if we're gonna go from the Town Hall side here. It should, right? So as you can see, they are now like kind of chilling. You know, they don't really have to think about time. So they are just, right now, going for the triple and not trying to make any mistake. So he takes some uh, few seconds with that uh, siege barrack to set up the funnel. And now we have the king and the queen. Alright, again we have healer puppet on the queen, wooden ability protecting everything. Monolith got invisible, but I think so we should be able to snipe the monolith very easily. There is still a huge group of the dragons uh, doing some work. Using the another set of the spells, we still have three free spells over the, on the bar. Royal Champion has haste ability. 
still plenty of super dragons alive. Few skelly spells. Exbo is still a log on the RC, but as the RC going invisible, is going for the skelly single inferno right now. Log on the king with the head hunter. Helping there. It is three star. Yeah, good job by uh, Satario. Honestly, I know that the uh, like thing one star is like oh refer only for the team. But now this war has like kind of different setup, you know? They don't have to go for the crazy fast attack and we can we can just enjoy the attacks. Good job, good job. Oh, by the way, the like I know that because I uh, my clash of one screen is so huge on the screen, so I'm not really zooming. And now I'm seeing like sometimes more comments. Can you zoom more? Do you want me to zoom more or are you okay how I am showing the screen? Because I make my Clash of Clans screen bigger on for me <laughs> to able to see. But I don't know how is that for you. So maybe I, I stop zooming that much. <gasps> Gaiko, thank you! Something like I know if, 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 I don't know if he's gonna be using the super archer blimp, and I cannot believe I'm happy to see the super archer blimp. <laughs> And we will have 54 super bars, so we're going seriously crazy heavy with the super bars. And when was the last time, or did I even see Gaku using the super archer blimp? Alright. I can get the really good value of them. Yeah, he's clearing the core of the base. Even grabbing. Another set of the buildings, maybe he can get Infernos, oh my, he got the Inferno on the bottom side, and now this is good call, because I am actually going to the Inferno, which we didn't get with the Super Archers, now big group of the Super Barbs, just sniping the defenses around, and we will be ending on the Town Hall, it's also very fast with the attack, I see using the ability here, so we have also Hoggies coming out, and look at the Invis spell, uh, not just protecting the IC, but also he was trying to save the Hoggies. Wow, Gaku, are you recording here? <laughs> How fast he was? This one was really fast. Oh my, let me see. Where is my screen? 70 seconds, Gaku, that was like, honestly? 70 seconds with the Super Archer Blim, you are spending the time on the Super Archer Blim, right? Because you have to be patient with the Super Archers, you are dropping the spells. And he actually still hit it with the 70 or under 70 seconds. Tell him this is not Creative Master Series. Imagine now counting like Super Archer Blim as the Creative Master Series. <laughs> Oh, with the mass super bars. And I never ever thought I'm gonna be happy to see something like this. But I am. We send the heroes at the same time. Yeah, with the blimp. Yeah, he's deploy everything together. I am awake. I'm definitely awake. Alright, Yaku. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, definitely one of the fastest Super Archer attacks or Super Archer Blim hits i ever seen. We have Mr. Sim going in. And will be the attack with the Root Riders and Vaults against Star Beats. So, something will be I've seen a lot, just using Stitch Barrack on one corner. Actually, the King will be joining. I don't know, King is like going back and forth, but looks like King will be uh, mostly going to that corner and Queen is following. But we still have huge uh, group of the Rudriders, including the Vals, going inside the core of the base. This base has two poison spell towers, so they are gonna do some damage to his troops. That's why we are using the Warden ability here to protect them. We are using the Nada Skelly spell. We want to stay away from the Monolith or keep the Monolith away from his heroes. Luckily, that one Rude Rider opening the wall for the Queen, so she's actually going inside the core of the base. I see all the troops just walking around. King grabbing another set of the buildings. Queen is finally on the town hall. Monolith still being distracted. Queen, we have the frozen arrow on her. So. Using the ability, Town Hall being clear, sniping the Monolith. He doesn't really have that many troops left, 
He doesn't have new abilities on the Royal Champion. Using another freezer, so especially freezing the enemy king. Headhunter sadly got sniped by the cannon, so freezing another time. This could be a one freeze. RC still has ability now. It's not gonna be defense, right? With the freeze and the Royal Champion. It should be good. I don't want to jinx anything, but I think so he's fine. Yeah, I've lost so many troops at the start, but also like the split. I have feeling a lot of Rude Riders were uh, this way, away from the Warden. Yeah, it is triple. Okay. GG. GG. Yeah, the Isaac still could handle it, and especially that uh, he had like a lot of free spells. I know that it's like not overkill, but it's still 3 star. So, good job. Yeah, strong but slow. Yeah, that's how I feel. So, it really depends when you're gonna be using the fireball and everything. If you are in the team, which you're gonna be facing some big teams, and you guys can hit a per uh, perfect war as well, you know that that will be big chance that war will be decided by the time, and fireball will not gonna be the best option. All right, Dima. We don't have Klaus in this match. Dima coming in here with the Super Dragons that are already reaching the Town Hall. As you can see, we are using the Heroes to clear one corner. And Siege Barak already broke, so we have Super Minions coming out. Frozen Arrow on the Queen, and he will be using the Haze on the Royal Champion. Alright, Skelly's still distracting some of the defenses. Exbos is on the Skelly, that's good. Monolith Savage sniping some of his dragons. 1 minute 50 seconds, time is still very amazing. But I think so he will slow down now. Like RC losing the Fox, I think so the Fox is gone. And that sad story for the RC because RC got sniped. Now we are down to the three Super Dragons and King. King had Frosty, so never mind, King is down. Any chance this could be hold? No way the Monolith can handle it, right? Like, that was sick in game, mind. Alright, he's down. Oh my goodness, we have hold! Like, he will need to take down the defenses which are hitting the air. Any chance? Nope, it is defense! <gasps> That's giving chance for Robin Hood. This is two star. If the Robin Hood clan can hit a triple, I know that we will be still behind. But look at them, right now they are one star behind. You hoping that make Blue is relevant? Oh, uh, with the ores? That will be cool. Yeah, more people, trust me. Everyone will be playing Blue Base. If you can get ores. Because ores are now everything. Like in the past, everyone needed Dark Elixir, right? I am saying like we still need Dark Elixir, but it's not a huge problem like the ores right now. Everyone just wants ores to be able to mark their abilities. Alright, Jordan is in. Um, yet it's when outside. But he sent a battle drill. Now we have one Yeti on the single Inferno. Queen reaching that one. King actually the broke the wall. I don't think so we want King there. I could be... Because we opened the wall here with the Phoenix. I think many things went wrong. Queen using the ability. See, coming with the ability as well. So we have Haze and Hoggies. Phoenix versus Town Hall. I think so Phoenix can do it. Nice job by Phoenix. Wow, alright, so we actually invest all three heroes. He cleared Town Hall, grab some of the defenses that is still big part of the base left for the uh, Lalo. Headhunters got protected by the Warden. They did some damage to the enemy Royal Champion, but they weren't able to finish it. So that means we still also have to deal with the RC. 
deploying a bunch of cleanup troops, so a lot of minions flying around. He could use the poison on the ice to slow her down. Yeah, he does. Another set of the loons coming in, still holding on two of them. Ah, oh, has to get rid of the RC. There's also CC which are chasing his cleanup troops. 58 seconds, all defense is being gone. Now only need to clear the trash buildings around. Enemy ice golem freezing this loons. He got it. Yeah, it's gonna be three star. Good job, good job. I might say they don't have to be worried about the time because we know this war are not gonna be decided by the time. So they still can use all three minutes for hitting the triple. Hulk Puppet is good for the fast cleanup and also for like one second in this. Yeah. I guess. Hi Muffin, hello. Don't do in the next few years. <laughs> good luck. Oh, you are maybe like me, right? Alright, so Zappy Zap Kazuma zapping the multi inferno with the multi archer tavern, also with the a bull hat, and coming in here with the hero dive. Alright, so. Uh, Talk puppet and the show on the RC. We'll be blimping the town hall. Alright, nice. Catching the blim on the warden. King fighting the CC troops using the rage over the Yeti. So town hall is not issue. Anything else the Yeti might can get? Yeah, I think so. Finishing boom tower. Now we still have heroes on the bottom side of the base. I have to zoom out. Sorry, guys. Um, there is still few walls clearing the, around the monolith, but we have Finn with the Royal Champion, which are clearing the stat plus and also reaching the Eagle there. Tornado Trap slowing down some of the walls, but this is OP, like so many troops left. Now Hawk uh, Puppet is there with the shield and Kazuma adding another 3 star for King Navi here. Nice job by him. GG. I think I see new ability is last for Town Hall 16. I think they want to give enough time for the words to max. It would be cool if they slow down. Yeah. Alright, we have Hami. Hami with the whoa, two eyes hound. It will be coming with the Lalo. All right, healer puppet on the queen, haze on the royal champion. So, deploying the first heroes, already with the headhunter help, took care of the enemy queen there. And I think so, enemy king and enemy RC. Oh, we have like all four enemy heroes on that side. That's good value. Like, he doesn't look like he had like any issue to fight these heroes. Now, Finn sniping the town hall and pulling the CC troops. Rocket balloons were able to finish her, so... Even when he used the um, healer puppet on the queen, she still died. Slammer breaking over the cannon, so we have Dragon Rider coming out. Right now the moons are tanked in front of the single inferno, but they were inside the poison, so they died too quickly. And the Dragon Rider will go down as well. We are freezing around the monolith and the eagle. I think we have Royal Champion there, because I saw the giant bone go trigger. We still have one ice hound going with the moons. Moons are dying inside the core of the base. Where is RC? Anyone saw her? And so she's still like hiding? Oh, that is she is. Sorry. RC coming from 6 o'clock. My eyes are tired. <laughs> Alright, single infernos are only left. With the fox, she's fine. RC can get this and it is 3 star. Yeah? And not so hit. It's actually decent uh, timing. Good job, good job. When can I do tryout to enter Jinx Academy? I don't know, I mean. You have to do like serious tournaments, you know, and get some victories. You know. It's just looking for the OP players.
It's the final attacker for Navi, so they need 68 per 10 to star. W. Star started with the zap, and now he will be coming in here with the kill squad. So actually bringing the golem. With the frozen arrow from the queen, looking still good there. Now we are deploying the king, okay. See what we're using. Ace and Hawk. I see you can get the Eagle, bunch of Tech Slot and Egg Bows. Now we are starting with the Blim. You lose. Oh, this he this him pulled the Blim. Oh, I think so. We misclicked the Blim. I, it could be. But his warden is almost dead. Really got some seeking in mind, which I didn't see. It feels like he uh, misclicked there. But anyway, he's still able to take down the Tau Hall. Yeah, his warden got targeted as well. That's why I think it's not misclick, because his warden is like low, low HP and now chilling with the minions. Now we're actually getting the value with the Hulk because they are nicely tanking for the RC while she is zooming through the base here and starts from hitting the three star. I have to check what's happened there. No, it's still triple. Triple all day. Yeah, it stars like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good job by him. That's me, guys. Navi finishing this match with the 14 to 13. GG to Robin Hood clan. Congratulations to Navi. They're taking the victory. You guys were watching Cosmo League tournament single elimination. That's mean Navi is advancing to the round of 16. Okay, what's happened there? See, how Doll is <laughs> cool. I mean that. There was a misclick on the blim, but his wooden got maybe his wooden got hit by the air defense. He could like when he was trying to use the wooden ability, he clicked the blim instead, right? That would make sense. It stars, right, Suzy? Right. Oh, I forgot. How soon he gonna send a blim? But I think so. He misclick it, and the warden got hit by the air defense as he didn't use the warden ability because instead of the warden ability, he clicked the blim, and the air defense were targeting the warden. That's what Suzy think that happened. So you have to what copy the badge attack with the super arch of limb now oh my this is so spa slow all right see oh see his warden immediately got attacked by the air defense that's the reason why the warden went like ripped only macaroni for him and I wanted to use the warden ability to protect the blim, but he misclicked because his warden, as you can see, hasn't used the ability. So he misclicked the blim, and after warden was forced. There we go. Okay. This is smart.